Pixar is getting ready to premiere the sequel to one of its best movies, Inside Out. But will it be a worthy successor? Ya llegamos. Y esto es... Al Freli. Okay, the sequel to Inside Out is not breaking news. In fact, it's been over a year since Pixar confirmed this film in September 2022. Likewise, last November, the first teaser for the movie was released. After that, a second teaser has been released due to the Super Bowl, and just a week ago, a full-on trailer was released. With these previews and a couple of statements from the studio, we can begin to grasp the film's premise. But this movie has a lot at stake, as it bears the great responsibility of living up to its predecessor, especially considering Pixar's recent failures. So the question here is... Will Inside Out 2 be able to meet the expectations? But before fully diving into the details, let's recap a bit. This story takes place two years after the previous film. Now, Riley is 13 years old, and inside her mind, the emotions have already learned to live in harmony together. They now create memories with combined emotions, and there are more personality islands. Everything is going great, but this calm won't last long, as the console has been remodeled to include a new emotion, anxiety, and it seems like she isn't alone. Along with her, four other emotions will make their debut, and these are envy, embarrassment, and ennui. But let's talk about them one at a time. Starting with envy, this is a feeling of discontent or resentment towards others for possessing something that one does not have, whether it's material goods, a certain quality, or other tangible or intangible things. They are the smallest of the emotions, likely designed this way to represent that when someone experiences envy, they tend to feel inferior in comparison to other person, in other words, smaller. Moving on to embarrassment, this is a feeling of discomfort which is usually experienced when someone commits a socially unacceptable or frown upon act that is witnessed by others. This emotion is the biggest of them all, a pretty nice detail, as it may represent how, when someone feels embarrassed, all they want to do is to become as small as possible and vanish. But in reality, one tends to feel quite the opposite. It feels like you are being watched by everyone, as if you were so big that everyone can see you. It's going to be very funny to see how this emotion tries to hide due to shame, despite being so huge. Anui is a feeling of apathy and dissatisfaction that arises from a lack of occupation or enthusiasm. From what I understand, it's like boredom bordering on depression. Anui's design effectively captures this apathy through their eyes, which reflect their lack of interest and motivation. Lastly, there's my bestie, anxiety. <laughs> So relatable. Anxiety is a feeling of concern, nervousness, or unease, usually about a future event or something with an uncertain outcome. This one is my emotion. She has a nervous smile and a hairstyle that is all over the place. Her design conveys the sensation of being constantly alert and worried very well. In fact, it reminds me a bit of Twig from South Park. With this new array of emotions, and considering that Riley is centering her teenage years, I can already imagine the dreadful situation she'll encounter in the movie. Envy may arise from her lack of popularity compared to other girls, her parents not allowing her to attend parties like her friends, or someone being better than her at hockey. She might experience embarrassment in front of her crush or due to someone mocking her interests. Anoi could be present because she no longer enjoys hockey as much as she used to. And anxiety? Well, she could feel it due to the pressure to achieve good grades, being in the spotlight during a presentation, social interactions with friends or her boyfriend, ensuring a good performance in hockey matches, among many other things. Something worth noting is that all of the new emotions are unpleasant. There isn't any new emotion that's positive, like, mm, I don't know, pride, confidence, or love. It's particularly surprising that this last one isn't included, considering that adolescence is when the first romantic experiences typically happen. Furthermore, it's quite interesting that all the new emotions are somewhat linked to the basic emotions Riley already had. It's almost as if these new emotions are more complex variations of the ones we already know, just like Anxiety mentioned in the trailer. Riley's life requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. For example, Anxiety is closely related to fear, and one could argue that embarrassment combines fear and disgust, fear of being seen by others, and the discomfort it causes. Envy is primarily anger towards someone who has what you desire, and it also entails a bit of sadness and disgust for not having it. Lastly, Anui is a dislike for existing, as everything seems tedious, accompanied by a touch of sadness for no longer finding something fulfilling in life. Essentially, these emotions could be seen as the nieces and 
nephews of sadness, disgust, anger, and fear. Therefore, we believe that these emotions will get along quite well with each other, at least until anxiety bottles them up. Nonetheless, it seems like, once again, Joy will be the one who will have the most difficulty adapting to this new situation. Just think about it. She just learned how to live in harmony with the other emotions. And now, four new and pleasant emotions are added all at once. But out of all these new emotions, anxiety will surely be the most prominent character in this film, similar to how sadness was in the first movie. For starters, the director of the film has stated that anxiety is not really the type to take a backseat, which actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it in terms of what goes on inside all of our minds. This actually makes a lot of sense, as in the new trailer, anxiety not only takes control over the console, but also over Riley's entire mind. And well, for those of us who have experienced anxiety, we know that it's a very strong emotion that completely takes over you and is very difficult to deal with. So, if the film follows the same path as the first one, which showed us that sadness, despite being an unpleasant emotion, helps us deal with difficult situations and it is important and necessary to feel it, Inside Out 2 may focus on understanding anxiety. Why do we feel it? What is its purpose? Perhaps this movie will teach us to stop seeing it as something inherently negative, that is, not to stigmatize it, but also not to see it as something positive, that is, not to romanticize it. In other words, to recognize anxiety for what it is, an emotion that wants to tell us something and is there for a reason, so it's important to listen to it. This is likely what Joy will learn in the sequel, and therefore she will be once again the main character of the film. And I mean, she works very well as the main character because she represents the audience. Society, just like Joy, stigmatizes unpleasant emotions and overvalues pleasant emotions. Therefore, both Joy and the audience will have the same character development. Furthermore, the latest trailer revealed that Anxiety will play a more antagonistic role in the movie, so it's almost certain that she also experienced personal growth throughout the story. It's important for her to realize that, although it's good to prepare for the future, she cannot constantly stress about every single thing that may or may not happen. Not to mention, she will also have to learn to coexist with Riley's main emotions. By what has been shown so far, this movie seems extremely promising, and we are incredibly hyped for its release. However, there are a couple of things that, to be honest, concern us a bit, as they could have a significant impact on the sequel. The first thing is that this movie will probably have a lot of cringe. Personally, we don't think this is a bad thing, we actually enjoy feeling this emotion, but we know that many people don't. In fact, from what we've seen, this is one of the many reasons why certain movies such as Turning Red and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Meet and Mayhem receive a lot of hate. And just like we mentioned before, Riley will now be 13 years old in this new movie, meaning that we will see her right in her junior high school years. And if there's one thing we're sure of, it's that adolescence is the prime time for cringe. So, for this reason, many people may not end up liking the movie. Can you imagine? In the post credit scene, a new emotion shows up and says, Hi, nice to meet you. I'm cringe. Another concern we have is that Pete Doctor won't be returning to direct this film, and instead, Kelsey Mann will take the helm. He is by no means a newcomer to the animation industry, boasting 20 years of experience, but this will be his first time directing a movie. Some of his previous works include serving as a storyboard artist at Cartoon Network, contributing to series like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Mega's XLR, and Star Wars The Clone Wars. Pretty good series, by the way. In 2013, he joined Pixar, where he was the story supervisor for Monsters University. Not bad, quite good actually. A very enjoyable movie. But, 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 he was also the co-writer of The Good Dinosaur. Well, that doesn't sound very promising. So far, his only work as a director has been the short film Paris Central from Monsters University. But well, we can be so harsh on the man. At the end of the day, it's obvious that we need to see the movie before we can make any judgment. And it's only fair to give him and Pixar the benefit of the doubt, especially considering that they must have entrusted him with the sequel to Inside Out for a reason. Additionally, Meg LeFauf, one of the co-writers of the first movie, will come back for the sequel. This is something that leaves us a little more at ease. But what do you think? In conclusion, despite what we've mentioned, the truth is that we are really excited about this sequel. Inside Out is one of our favorite movies, and we really hope the sequel lives up to it. In fact, right now, I'm training to become a therapist, and I've been studying for over a year. 
with Inside Out being a movie that has definitely accompanied me a lot from the start. On the other hand, this movie helped me better understand my own feelings and stop stigmatizing unpleasant emotions. Honestly, I'm quite excited to hear what this movie's message will be about anxiety, an emotion that frequently crosses my mind. Frankly, this sequel has the great potential to become one of my favorite films, and likewise, I feel it has the opportunity to become a huge success for Pixar. We just have to wait for its release on June 14. But Prelis, the most important thing here is your opinion. Are you excited for this sequel? Do you share the concerns we expressed in the video? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to keep watching our videos, we recommend this other one that we're sure you'll find interesting. We love you all. Bye!